What's the coolest thing you have achieved with hydraulic power and what was the process or components you used to achieve it? That's, um, that's a really interesting question. We've, um, we've done lots of really cool projects. Um, it'd be very hard to choose just one that I'd say is my absolute most interesting, I guess. Probably the one that's most recent to us would be um, a, a um, I, I guess what it was called was a, a mobile manufacturing unit, which um, for the mine sites, they, they use a lot of explosives. Um, those explosives are made up of, of a whole heap of different pieces of, of chemicals and, and stuff, I guess is the best way to describe it. Um, I can't give away too much about that information. Obviously, it's, it's quite secret. <laughs> Um, even even we don't know too much about it, so it, you know. But it uses you know maybe four or five different things that all get mixed together that creates um, the the rapid oxidising agent that's used for for blasting in mines. Now, obviously, it can be pretty hazardous to take that around. You know, we're talking tons and tons of this stuff. It's it's pretty hazardous to cart that around, ready to go, so to speak, ready where it may go boom, rapidly oxidise, I'm told it is. So they use these mobile manufacturing units where they hold on a truck, on a single truck, all the individual things all separated and they mix it all together and then deliver it sort of all in one go. So that, that's, a, that's a recent project that we've worked on, um, the, the, the design of that system. It's, it was kind of really, really complicated and really, really not all at once. Um, the important part was the accuracy of the system so that the mix of the product could be right. And that mix changes quite regularly. So, you know, I think there's 20 different products that this particular company makes. And so that mix is different for each of those products and delivered slightly differently and also delivered at different speeds. So the smart bit for us is more in the control system that wasn't our job, but we put together all the, the design to, um, to make the hydraulics do the hydraulics bit. And I guess for us, the, the really cool part of that was in the redesign of that, we improved the overall efficiency of the system. Um, and you know, to me, that's, that's pretty important. And Jade's sitting there in the, you know, got the beautiful ocean in the background and looking after the environment. It's actually really important, even as an engineer, to be thinking about, can I do this more efficiently? And so we've, we, we set up a system that uses a lot less fuel on the diesel engine than previous versions of it. So, you know, it's more efficient, le less impact on the environment as much as anything else. So that's probably at the moment the one that sits pretty high on the list of, of cool projects. Um, so much work went into analysing it. There was so much data to understand. There's been some testing, some, some data logging of previous machines, data logging of new machines. There's so much has actually gone into this particular project and it, you know, it, the whole team was involved. You know, Brock did a lot of the heavy lifting at the start to try and analyse how things worked and you know, was it the right motor, was it the right actuator, did we have the right flows? So you know, even, even for Brock there was a big learning experience in, in getting to how this system works and how we can actually improve it. So um, as an improvement project this is probably the one that I've, I've enjoyed the most in recent times. I love it. It sounds really fascinating too. Like it, there's some, some consequences there. Shit doesn't go right. The, the, um, I suppose the pride of making something work more efficiently and knowing you're doing better for the environment. And yep. I'm, I'm sure that's saving the client time and money as well. So everyone's, everyone's a winner in that situation. Absolutely. And that's the fun for us. The fun is learning all different products, all different things, how different machines work, you know, that's the stuff that really lights us up as a whole team is how does this stuff work? How do we, you know, how do we achieve this outcome? How does this system work? How does this machine work? And, you know, then when we get the opportunity to build a better mousetrap, how do we make it better again is just, you know, so much more fun.